if it is your first year, there is a major thing that you need to be aware of. And welcome to Ochuba Wolf Collection, or welcome back if you guys are a subscriber of mine. My name is Brooke. I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan, collector, blogger on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com, etc. If you're not subscribed to Ochuba Wolf Collection, slam that subscribe button and join our growing pack here on YouTube. Today's video is all about Pretty Guardians, the official Sailor Moon fan club that began in 2016 and it's on its ninth year. I know, it's wild to think that it's almost 10 years old. If you're sitting there and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know there was a fan club for the Sailor Moon franchise, that's okay. That's okay. A lot of you are in the same boat and you are going to learn all about it in today's video. I myself have been a member of the fan club since 2016. I feel like I know a lot about the fan club to tell you guys. I've also done videos on my channel all about the fan club, but they're a little older now. So I feel like it's time for a refresher. Let's just start with what is Pretty Guardian. So Pretty Guardians is the name of the Sailor Moon fan club. It has two different versions. It has the Japanese version for fans in Japan only. And then it also has Pretty Guardians for overseas, which is everybody outside of Japan. In a nutshell, it's a yearly paid membership. You get a membership card with, you get access to additional goods, sometimes special events, freebies, and more. Every year at the beginning of April, they open up enrollment for new memberships. It usually has a two to three month window. However, they have been known to extend it to October. However, that's not always guaranteed, so don't count on that. Each new membership, you get a membership card. You usually get a special gift item. And if you're a continuing member, they offer and give you something extra. I actually tried to find all of my fan club items from the last previous year. So I grabbed a few of them to kind of give you guys an idea on some of the stuff that you get. And as you see, it looks like it's mostly stationary items as far as like the freebies that you get. There's a lot of jewelry involved in the membership. They come in these beautiful, pretty guardians boxes. This is the pin brooch from 2023 that we just got the first quarter 2024. The Sailor Moon Fan Network team and I have always been blogged about what you can get if you are in the fan club. So if you wanted to like go into detail and see a lot of those things, you can visit SailorMoonFanNetwork.com for all of those details, as well as we have an extensive blog post all about Pretty Guardians. If you want to read a little bit more about it after you watch this video, we've got a lot of good resources on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com regarding the fan club. I briefly mentioned that there are two different versions of the fan club. The fan club for people who live in Japan and the fan club for for everybody else outside of Japan. And that one is called Pretty Guardians for Overseas. And that's the one that I have been a part of since 2016. And that's what this video is mainly going to cover because the Japanese one is all in Japanese. You have to have a Japanese address to join that fan club. And since I am in the United States, I cannot join that one unless I went through a proxy. So this video is only going to be talking about the benefits of Pretty Guardians for Overseas, which includes the majority of us. Am I right? <laughs> All countries except Japan. The Sailor Moon fan club has a lot of controversy surrounding this. Some people think, yes, it's worth it. And others are like, this benefits me in no way. It's worthless to me. I won't join it even as a Sailor Moon fan. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. This video can help you guys decide if it's going to be worth it for you or not, because it is not for everybody. Everybody has their own opinions on it. I just kind of want to be clear about that. Like not everybody agrees with what the fan club has been doing for Sailor Moon fans. And honestly, I agree with a lot of it too. I'm just a hardcore Sailor Moon fan and I'm just going to join anyway. <laughs> Even though I join it every year, I am very transparent that there are major issues with the fan club. We have been stiffed on a lot of things, especially when it comes to the Japanese version of the fan club and overseas fan club. They are not treated equally. Japan's version of the fan club gets a lot more merchandise, other freebies and other events versus the overseas one and that's a big problem. Not to say there's not any benefit to joining the overseas as well. I mean, if you're a big collector, you do get a lot of cool things. I, for one, love the membership cards that you get every year. If you join, you get a membership card and I have all of my cards over the past eight years in this 
Pretty Guardian membership card book, which was also an exclusive item that you could only buy if you were a fan club member. Now, this was not free. You got to choose if you wanted to purchase this or not if you were a fan club member. And it's a very beautiful book. I've done short form content on this if you wanna see it in a little bit more detail. But this is kind of like an example of an additional good that you can get to buy. It's funny because it's a product to store your cards, but there have been other items as well that's not fan club related. It's fan club limited goods, but it's not, you know, for like an item from the fan club. They've done t-shirts, they've done the Sailor Moon Cosmos Blu-rays from Japan, the limited edition fan club set that you could have bought on Pretty Guardians. They've done a lot of the uh, canceled ice show Prism on Ice merchandise that you could uh, exclusively order if you are in the fan club. There are quite a few benefits. It just all depends like how you feel about it. It's all subjective. There are going to be Sailor Moon fans out there that tell you, oh, it's stupid. I don't like it. I wish there were more. I don't waste my money on it. And then there's going to be another fan that's like, I'm so happy to be in it. I love the items that I get. It's just fun to say that I'm a member. The opinions are all across the board. You have to kind of come to your own conclusion and your own thoughts about it. The fan club has been quite different since the pandemic. Before the pandemic, the overseas fan club did have access to enter into lotteries to get into certain events. Like I actually used my overseas Pretty Guardian fan club membership to attend Usagi's birthday in 2019. Since then, I haven't seen any other special access to events if you are in the overseas version of the fan club. So that has been limited over the last couple of years. But the thing is, I don't know if that's going to change. So there is a potential the overseas fan club can offer some sort of exclusive event access later on. It's never certain, but for the most part, it is all merchandise related. So if you're not a huge collector, if you're not into a lot of the Sailor Moon goods that the fan club produces, then it might not be super important for you to join. Especially in 2023, it was basically just all exclusive merchandise that we had access to. And again, we don't get the same merchandise that Japan does. So we get a sampling of it. Although there is still stuff that you can buy as you're seeing on the screen, I'm kind of showing you a little bit about what you could have bought in 2023. Sometimes they do sell out fast. The cool thing is they did get some of the museum merchandise and that stuff was exclusive to the Sailor Moon Museum. And a lot of it did end up on the fan club site to order. So that was kind of a neat chance to get some of the merchandise. Kind of do your own research, look into our blogs. I'll have the links in the description of this video below. Study it a little bit, see if it's gonna be something that you want to join. You should be able to join all the way up to June 30th, 2024. They might extend it like they have done the past couple of years. But again, I, it's uncertain. I'm not sure if they'll continue on that pattern. As always, the Sailor Moon Fan Network team and I will make sure to keep you guys up to date if you continuously check our site or our socials. Since 2022, I've been doing a walkthrough with you guys just to help you guys kind of navigate the Pretty Guardian website with me. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and sign me up for my ninth year. Let's get on my computer here. We are on overseas.prettyguardians.com. This is the front page. And if you scroll down on the site here, you're going to see the other version that I talked to you guys about, the ones for folks in Japan. So if you do live in Japan, have a Japan address, you're going to want to sign up for the one Pretty Guardians for Japanese. So click there to go to the Japanese site. You'll also see they have the Pretty Guardians official shop, which we'll talk a little bit about that here in just a bit. And then we have a couple of topics and these are the actual latest merchandise. Well, actually, no, I don't think that's the latest merchandise because I know that bag came out a while back. I have that bag and it's awesome. See, there's a perk right there. If you like the goods that Sailor Moon produces from the franchise, some of it is really cool on the fan club. And I really did like that Pretty Guardians eco bag. <laughs> Getting a little off topic, but that's like the extent of the front page here. To sign up, just go ahead and click that front image. And it takes you to this page that kind of just shows a little bit more in detail and up close photos of everything that you're going to get for the 2024 membership. So we'll just go go through it and we'll talk about it, have a little discussion about it. First of all, here you always are going to get a membership certificate or the membership card. I have my book filled with my membership cards. They are really quite beautiful. I'm really proud of them. 
<laughs> they usually come on a paper backing on your card every year. There's a different image for each year, so it'll be neat to see how the next one comes. I mean, we do get a preview. It's probably just gonna be a different color on the same type of backing as the other ones have been. If you guys remember, this is the brand new illustration that was in the Vogue Japan magazine when Naoko did her interview. This image, I believe, is just, it's so iconic. We got this brand new image, you know, from Naoko last year. So I think it's a great choice for the membership card. So you're gonna get a membership card just like I showed you. Each membership card comes with your own membership number. If you're a continuing member, it will be the same number as all of your other cards have been. Also continuing and new memberships always get a little extra gift item. This year's gift item is a layered necklace set. How cool is it to see the manga transformation brooch and the manga tiara in a layered necklace? Isn't that beautiful? This kind of goes back to what I was telling you guys in the beginning, how a lot of people just think the Sailor Moon fan club is not worth it because it's things like this. It's jewelry and jewelry is not for everybody, you know? Some people could care less about jewelry and most of the time it's something very delicate, something feminine. Last year's was like a pin brooch. Don't feel bad if you don't care for this. A lot of people don't and a lot of people criticize the fan club uh, severely because of the stuff that comes in the fan club. For continuing members only, if you are a continuing member, not for new members, if you're going to sign up for the first time this year, you will not get this. But continuing members, if you're a member for the second year in a row or more, you will get this cute notepad set and a big sticker. Now, they're reprints of items that came out with the Nakayoshi magazine in the 90s. It's really kind of fascinating that they're doing this. A lot of these items, the originals were sought after by collectors and a lot of collectors, you know, wanted to own all these. They're called Furoku in Japanese. So they're reprinting these. These are brand new based off of old collection pieces. And I do have some to show you guys. This is a uh, one year's fantasy note, super cute. We got tuxedo mask and the kitties on the back there. Often they'll also come with the sticker. This was actually 2023 sticker. Very cool. We got the Sailor Starlights on there and Super Sailor Moon and <laughs> Sailor Moon and Chibi Chibi up here. Here's another note set that we got. Just, you know, stuff like this. So we will get that this year, the Pretty Soldier note set in the 2024 to 2025 membership. Continuing on, this is the part where I was telling you how there, there could be access and exclusive goods later on in the year with your fan club membership. They tell you, you can also get exclusive newsletters only for members. Those are few and far between. I'm gonna just be real with you guys. So don't expect a lot of those. Do not join the fan club just for that. Sales for exclusive goods. There have been quite a few exclusive goods, not to the extent of the Japanese fan club, but there have been a lot of opportunities uh, to order exclusive goods. I myself love that part of the fan club. That's been pretty good. I wish it was better. I wish it was the same that Japan got. If it was equal, I would be very happy. We're not there yet, but I'm gonna keep hoping. Advanced lottery application, special plan, a mail order of goods after events at the time of various events. That did not happen in 2023. There was nothing like that in 2023. I'm hoping that's gonna change for 2024. Again, things aren't consistent. It's never confirmed. That's why I like to always join the fan club every year, just in case the fan club surprises us and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so glad to be a member. I have access to this. You just never know. Fan club membership bonus for commercial products. Didn't see that either. Greeting cards occasionally. Mm, we don't ever get any physical ones. If we do get a greeting card, it might be, you know, like a Merry Christmas in our Gmail, you know, so it's it would be email only. I didn't see anything like that last year. Service of showing membership certificate. Aha, now that actually is still true. If you go to Japan and you shop at the Sailor Moon store, there could be something going on where if you show that you are a fan club member, you have to usually sign in on your phone. They have to look at the page where they can confirm if you are an active member or not. You can usually get either extra points or certain discounts depending on what's going on at the time. That is an act actual perk of the fan club, especially for those of you guys who do travel to Japan quite frequently and you shop at the Sailor Moon store. I do like it for that. I've also gotten a special sticker because I was in the fan club when I visited the Sailor Moon store. So you just never know. They usually will ask you to or you can you know say if you're checking out the Sailor Moon story like is there anything going on for if you're a Sailor Moon fan club member they'll let you know exclusive video content for fan club members <sighs> 
I don't think there was much of that in 2023. If it does happen, very few and far between. I would say very, very rarely. Don't count on that one either. That one's not gonna be a big perk. I would say out of these, the exclusive goods, maybe advanced lottery sales because that has happened uh, in the past. It hasn't happened over the last couple of years, but I have used it in 2019 for that. And the service of showing you're an active member of the fan club when you shop at the physical Sailor Moon store. So I would say those would be the three main ones to join for. Everything else is just too few and far between for it to be anything great. Oh yeah, and let me know down there in the comments if anybody is joining for their third or fifth year because you guys are gonna get a special pin badge. Here is my Prism Stars pin badge. It's silver, so you get that one after your three years. And then the Crystal Stars one, which is gold, if you're a member for five years. So these are kind of special, very exclusive. You can only get those if you're a continuous member of the fan club for a certain amount of years. The three and the five year mark so far are the ones they have not given us any new ones yet. So it's Prism, Crystal, maybe Cosmic Stars next? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then here is the price, which I'm going to pop in a post-production on how much I was charged because I'm going to edit this video later and check my credit card statement. Right now it's telling us that it is gonna be $40.92 plus the shipping fee of $27. Now this is going to appear to be cheaper than the previous years. A lot of people after we already you know, blogged about that you can join on April 1st, they were like, oh, did it actually go down in price? It did and it didn't. So the price, in yen it remains the same, especially if you live in the United States, our dollar is stronger than the yen right now. So it's going to appear cheaper for us. And it is cheaper for us, not just appearing, it is actually cheaper for us in our own currency. Because when you buy the fan club, it charges in yen and your credit card will convert it to your currency. And then you'll get the credit cards rate at the time for whatever the currency rate is. We also have the enrollment period down here. It did start April 1st. They say that they're gonna keep it open until June 30th, 2020 which is Usagi's birthday. Happy birthday, Usagi. It does say it will end as soon as the fan club benefits are exhausted. I've never seen them close it early for any reason. That's always closed on June 30th. And most of the time it ends up getting extended until October. I don't know entirely what that means. I've never seen that happen. I don't think we have to worry about it. I don't think every Sailor Moon fan is rushing to join this. <laughs> so I think you have some time to think about it if you're still on the fence. But it does say that. So I wanted to make sure we mentioned it. So here at the bottom, Bottom to the member registration page. If you are a brand new member, that's what you're gonna wanna click. And then over here, it says to the renewing member registration page. We're a renewing member here on this video, Chiba Wolf right here, we are renewing. So we're gonna click that. And here we are on my Pretty Guardians Overseas member status. And look at that, oh my gosh. Registration day 2016, that is really cool to see. Now I do have a lot of things censored out on this page. My member number is blocked out. And of course, um, all of my private information down there in the ID registration information part. They do have an area that you can set up automatic renewal. I personally don't do that because I do these videos and I do the walkthroughs, so it's not for me. But if you're a person that would like to continuously be in the fan club and you need those reminders, you can set up automatic renewal. I think it auto renews you and charges you in June, around June 30th when it closes. I'm not entirely sure just because I haven't done it before. If you guys have done the automatic renewal, please leave a comment down below. Let me and everybody know like when it charges for you. So from here, we're gonna click update procedure. We're ready to enroll for the ninth year. Again, this is my private information, so it is going to be blocked out. So you're going to need to fill out your information right here. And all of mine is correct from the previous year, so I don't have to do anything different. So we're gonna click next. And here's where you're gonna pay for it. Now they do accept credit card only. You can't use PayPal or any other type of payment processing other than an actual credit card. I'm gonna go ahead and put my details in and get paid up. They also have a check mark right there that where you can set up automatic renewal again if you want to. I just wanna make sure you guys saw that. Check mark that if you want it auto renewed. I'm not going to just because I'm gonna do another one of these videos in 2025. Click next. This takes you to a confirmation screen. Make sure everything is correct as far as your information goes before you click confirmed to the right here. The total in yen is going to be 10,050 yen. Everything looks great. I'm gonna click confirmed. Let's do this. We have completed the membership continuation. Thank you, dear Brooke. Thank you for always using our service. The renewal procedure of our service has been completed. Please visit my page to check your registration information. You can also check your enrollment status at any time here. We are done. It's as simple as that. All it does is it takes credit card. That's it. That's all you really need to know. <laughs> 
And remember when I was telling you guys, if you are a member of the fan club and you go to the Sailor Moon store, the part that they need to see when you are talking to the employee is the status. So that status right there, mine says paid renewal. So that's what they look at to confirm if you're actually an active member of the fan club. You will just sign into your Pretty Guardians fan club account and you'll go to your page and that's what they need to see. We did it! We signed up for the ninth year, at least for me. Please, if you guys are signing up, let me know what year this is for you. Is this year one for you, year two, year three, year four, year five, year eight, nine, you know? Oh my gosh, I'm hitting my light over here. Just wanna know how many years you guys have been in the fan club or maybe it's your first year. That'd be so interesting. I did talk to a few people that are saying that they are joining for the first time and I'm so excited for them. I have a lot of criticisms with it and I agree with a lot of people who do criticize it and say awful things about it and I agree with a lot of them. All in all, I am very proud to be in the fan club and I love all the things that I have accumulated from being in the fan club. I do wanna tell you guys though, if it is your first year, there is a major thing that you need to be aware of. The things that come with your membership, like your membership card, your necklace, and if you're a continuing membership, the Pretty Soldier note set. You are not going to get these until 2025. They have stated they will not begin shipping these until January 2025. So just be aware it's going to take basically a year to get these items. So when you initially join, you're not going to get anything right off the bat. It's going to be January, February in 2025. I know, long time. We just entered 2024. Well, I'm not even thinking about 2025 yet. So that's kind of a bummer, but it is expected. It is up front. We are aware that that's going to happen. But I want to know what you guys think of the fan club. Have you been a member for either a year or more? Leave comments of your experience down below. Please be respectful and kind. I understand if you absolutely loathe it, but there is a nice way to state your opinions without bringing other people down because there are people who love it and there are people who don't like it. I want to be respectful to all. But it is nice to have a lot of different opinions because that does help people determine if they're going to join or not. So please share your experiences, whether good or bad, down there in the comments, as long as you're respectful and kind. Personally, I love the fan club. Like I said, I'm upset about some things, but here I am still joining for the ninth year, so. I think in part that's me hoping that they're going to somehow change it and make it better for us overseas, maybe even become equal to the exclusive goods that the Japanese version gets. I know that's kind of optimistic of me, especially since we're on the ninth year and that hasn't happened. Part of me is is like really hoping for a change and I want to be in the fan club if that change happens because there is parts of the year that you cannot join and if something cool happens, I'm going to be so upset if I'm not in the fan club you know, to be able to benefit from whatever the fan club is offering. <laughs> Before we go, I will show you the goods that you could have ordered if you were in the fan club over the last year. When you're on the overseas.prettyguardians.com site and you go to goods, you can only view the goods if you are an active fan club member. So this is exclusive access, a peek inside of what it looks like to be a fan club member and look at all the goods. I'm being silly about it, but I do always want to be transparent and show you guys like we don't want to gatekeep this. We want to make sure you guys are aware and speaking of the goods the art book yes the art book is going to have a fan club only version it's called the deluxe version it's a little bit more expensive i think it comes with like a clear file and a different type of cover japan's fan club of pretty guardians got it up for pre-order they have not put it up on pretty guardians for overseas however i'm actually expecting it we might even see it sometime this week pop up but it is not guaranteed if they do put it on Pretty Guardians for overseas, if you're a fan club member, you will be able to order it. They have had it, like I said, on the Japanese one. I'm filming this video April 2nd and it's not on yet, as you guys can see. They do put these in the most recently added order. So the Sailor Moon 2024 calendar that you see right here, that was the last item to be added to the overseas fan club. Wow, those sold out? Okay, um, they weren't sold out the other day. The Sailor Moon Cosmos Blu-rays that were on here. Now these are the Japanese version, so there isn't any English subtitles, but you were able to order the fan club version of these. And these were actually in stock for a while. I'm actually surprised to see that they've sold out. You can still get the uh, regular Pretty Guardians one. That one's not sold out. This is just kind of a good example of all the things that you could have got if you were in the fan club um, over the last couple of years. Look, there's that little book that I was talking to you guys about. This one right here, I adore it to store your membership cards in. Very handy, very beautiful. 
very classy. Oh, the eco bag is still in stock. I really highly recommend that eco bag. Very good quality. I have the Sailor Jupiter one and it has like the manga versions of the attacks written in English on it. It's very cool. There's the Prism on Ice stuff that I mentioned that was on the fan club. A lot of this stuff is still in stock. You can still grab a t-shirt. You can still grab a towel if you so desire it. I don't know. This stuff uh, is, is so strange to me because it never happened. <laughs> Although the art for it was very beautiful. I kind of regret not grabbing a clear file. We're getting into like the museum stuff. A lot of it has has sold out but it looks like there are there's a few things still available like these things right here are still available and the acrylic stand is still available so even though these are older items that have been on the goods list for a while some of the stuff is still in stock but a lot of the good stuff of course is not i missed out on that plushie set that plushie set sold out so fast on the fan club some things sell out super fast and others you know kind of linger for a little bit i believe they put some of the museum stuff on here because they just had a little additional stock so i don't think this was exclusive you know for the fan club they just threw some of the, their extra stock for the fan club and I don't think they had a lot of those plushies left and I think that's why they sold out super quickly on those but a lot of the stuff we do get options to wait a bit. For instance, that reproduction tumbler up there and the clock, oh, love that clock by the way, and the bath towel and the mirror. These things were on the fan club for quite some time. They actually had a pre-order period where they would take orders, as many orders as possible, and then ship them later. So don't like worry about things selling out super quickly to where the fan club wouldn't be worth it to you. The exclusive stuff, they do usually do a pre-order period for it and take as many orders within a period and then they'll ship it later. I just kind of wanted to go over some of the stuff on the good side of things so you guys can get an idea, especially if you're watching this video. It's like you're thinking about joining the fan club. You haven't quite made up a decision yet and you're watching this video to maybe help you make that decision. <laughs> so if that's you guys, let me know what you decide down there in the comments below. Here's the end page of the goods and then that was it. I can show you a little bit of the newspaper stuff if you want. Look, look at this. This, wow. The last one they did was November 2023. See how there's not that many? Look, there was only two in 2023, volume 20 and 21. And these newsletters are part of the exclusive, you know, thing. Um, they talked about the Miracle Shiny series. Wow, I don't ever think I looked at this to be honest with you guys. But that's it. Like, you see that? It's very short. It's not even, you know, it, you don't join it for the newsletters at all at all. Wait, was this in 2023? Oh my gosh. I mean, I remember, the, I don't know this. I haven't seen these. <laughs> Clearly I'm not like chomping at the bit to come read the Sailor Moon Pretty Guardians fan club newsletters. But I do like how they are in English. They do translate them in English for the overseas fan club, which is kind of a, a neat thing. It's not even auto translate as you see. Like I, that's really nice. There's also the event tab here. It's said coming soon for a long time. We've got the radio, which is all in Japanese and it hasn't been updated since 2019. And then we've got this movie section which is just video content. It could be uh, musical actors, it could be voice actors. It's like behind the scenes stuff. As you see, look how old these are. Look how old these are, 2018. It hasn't been updated since 2018, so. The wallpapers are cool, although they get leaked everywhere online, so you don't even necessarily need to be in the fan club to have access. Uh, to the wallpapers, but they do have some for smartphones. They do have some for desktop, for PCs, and you can just go to the list at any time and download um, any of these wallpapers, which again, have been leaked everywhere. So it's, you don't have to join the fan club just to get these. You can Google search these images and find them. And then they have a link to the Japan website, which is the Japanese version of Pretty Guardians, which gets so much more content and goods. I wish we got equal treatment. Please, Sailor Moon please treat us better. See, look, there's the art book right there. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get the art book on our overseas version of the fan club. Don't let me down, Sailor Moon. I keep being so optimistic for this franchise and then they keep showing me that I shouldn't be. <laughs> but yet here I am, still positive and trucking along. But anyways, guys, I think that's it for this video. If you have any
any additional questions, you don't think I may have covered something as well as you needed it, or you thought of something else, please leave it below. I will try to answer it, or you can reach out to me through Instagram. That's the best way to reach me through any of my social medias. I always reply to my uh, direct messages, as long as you send me a message that makes sense and you give me some context. I do not reply to messages if you just send me some random reel on Instagram. I do not even use my time to, to go through those. But if you send me um, some sort of message like, hi, Brooke, or hi, Ochiba Wolf, blah, 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 I will definitely reply to you. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are brand new here. We would love to, for you to join the pack. And that's it. Have a good one.